Today we'll be looking at trigonometry ratio. Um, when you have a right angle triangle, there are two things you can do with a right angle triangle. Is either you maybe you're given two sides and then you want to find the third side, you're going to use Pythagoras rule to get the third side. Or we use Sokatoa when you have a combination of angles and sides. So for instance, if we have you need to understand how to deploy, how to make use of the Sokatoa. Now is an acronym. Let's say I have A, B, and then C. Now I have A, B, side A, B, B, C, and A, C. Now if you look at this triangle, the longest side is called A, C, which is the hypotenuse side. The hypotenuse side is the side facing the right angle triangle. So let me do this. The side facing the right angle triangle is A, C, which is called the hypotenuse, hypotenuse side. And then we have um, the, the other side is either the opposite or the adjacent side. How do I know the opposite side? Now, if I don't have an angle, I can take any, any of the side to be the opposite or the adjacent side. Now, in this case, I can decide to take this as the opposite side and take this as the adjacent side. Why? Because I don't have an angle. But if I have, let's say, Let's take another angle, another triangle triangle. This is X, Y, and then Z. Let's say this is an angle theta. Now, if you look at this, this side is facing the right angle triangle. X, Z is facing the right angle triangle. So X, Z is called the hypotenuse side, the hypotenuse side. And then we have um, A and um, X, Y. X, Y is facing the angle theta. So since X, Y is facing the angle theta, so X, Y is the opposite side, the opposite side. So X, Y is the opposite side. Then this other side, Y, Z, is called the adjacent side. So this is the opposite side to theta, and X, Y is the opposite side to theta. The adjacent side of theta is yz, and the hypotenuse side of theta is xz. Now let's see. I have another uh, another triangle. This is um, qrs, and then this is psi. Now you can see that now the hypotenuse side is always the longest side, which is qs, the side facing the right angle triangle. So this is called the hypotenuse, hypotenuse side. Now in this case, now you can see my angle side. The angle facing side, the side facing angle side, uh, angle um, angle file is um, RS. So this is RS. So RS is the opposite side to phi. Is the opposite side to phi, and then QR is the adjacent side. Adjacent side. All right. Now, how do we make use of? Okay. How do we make use of um, the Sokatoa? What's the meaning of the Sokatoa? Sokatoa is an acronym. So, so this is so. We we'll start with so. The first letter represents the sine, which is the sine of an angle. So, the sine, which is same, the, the sine of an angle, is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. So I'm going to write this the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. Now, this C stands for cosine. And then cosine means the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse side. Or I'm going to write it as cos, as I would write it cos. So cos is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So I'm going to write adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Then the last one is called the tangent. T represents the tangent. So tangent means the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So tangent is actually the opposite side divided by the adjacent. I'm write it here. Tangent. The opposite side divided by the adjacent. 
So you need to understand this. You need to understand this basically about um, um, how to use, how to make use of um, SOC as well. So you can check my uh, my next video. We're going to solve problem, you know, that has to do with um, SOC as well. Thanks for watching my video. Always subscribe on my on my channel. God bless you. God bless you. Bye.